Today we'll talk about calculus with polar coordinates. And first we'll introduce the derivative and uh, look at some of applications of integration and how those work. So first things we need to look at is the derivative uh, for a polar curve, something involving polar coordinates. In general, we're always going to assume that we have a function of theta. Uh, in other words, you can solve R by itself and get it in terms of strictly theta. When we do this, we'll be able to replace the R in R cosine theta and R sine of theta for regular old polar coordinates with F of theta times cosine of theta and F of theta times sine of theta respectively, which will give us expressions of instead of x of t in one variable, we'll now have x of theta in only one variable and y of theta in only one variable. Then we can use our regular old um, concept of derivative of parametric equations to figure out what the derivative with y of y with respect to x is. It's going to be the derivative of the y expression with respect to theta over the derivative of x with respect to theta. Remember, if we had x and t, it would be dy dt over dx dt. Really, we're just using theta instead of t now. Now, <clears throat> it's a bit more complicated than that, truly, because you know we're taking the derivative of this x expression here. Uh, x is our, our uh, I'm sorry, derivative of y with respect to theta, but and polar coordinates, y is r sine of theta, but we're substituting in f of theta for the r. So it makes sense to take the derivative of an expression entirely in terms of theta with respect to theta. So now what? Well, for each of these derivatives in both the numerator and the denominator, we have f of theta as an expression being multiplied by another sine of theta expression, both in terms of theta. So we have two expressions, and we need to apply the product rule when we're doing that. So let's give these colors. Uh, I'll use f of theta in yellow and sine of theta in orange there. So product rule says derivative of the first guy. So we're going to take the derivative of our f of theta expression and leave sine of theta alone. Derivative of the first guy times the second guy unchanged plus the first guy unchanged. Now we're leaving f of theta alone and we're taking the derivative of the second guy, derivative of sine of theta. Similarly, we do the same thing to the denominator to get the expression, uh, the derivative expression. We can tidy this up notationally by using f prime to theta times sine of theta, because uh, this circled in red highlighter is the same thing as saying uh, f prime of theta. All right. So now you commonly see this written in two different ways, depending on which textbook or uh, instructor you're, you're working with here. So since f prime to theta is really the same thing as r prime or dr d theta, you can write f prime of theta as dr d theta. And then since f of theta is the same thing as r, you can also write that as r. So you'll see it both ways. Um, I don't know, I kind of, I actually kind of prefer this way because you're not working, you don't see f of theta in the wild. Rather, you see things like r is equal to one plus cosine of theta. And that to me makes sense because then I can see dr d theta is equal to, well, derivative of one with respect to theta is zero and derivative of cosine with respect to theta is negative sine of theta. And we've got our yellow expression. And then, well, for r, well, that's just, we'll just put one plus cosine of theta in there. So I tend to like that, that uh, notation a bit better. So uh, what does this actually tell us? Well, as always, uh, note here that the derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line to our curve, r equals f of theta. Even though it's defined in polar coordinates, the derivative, as we've calculated, is going to give us the derivative in the xy plane. Why the xy plane? Well, because we're, t we're calculating the derivative of y with respect to x, not the derivative of r with respect to theta or anything. And uh, what does the derivative tell us? It tells us the slope of the tangent line. We don't want to do lines in polar coordinates. We want to do lines in rectangular coordinates, Cartesian coordinates. So this expression is going to be the derivative. And when we calculate it, it's going to be all in terms of theta. So it makes sense to evaluate this, this uh, xy plane derivative in terms of theta we're going to evaluate it at a point or an angle theta. 
And that's what this last line says. Note the derivative will be in terms of theta only, since we're assuming our function is in the form of uh, r equals f of theta. So all that's good and abstract, but let's see an example here. So for our first example, we're going to work, um, find the tangent line to a polar curve. Let's go ahead and pause this. OK, so what do we have here? Well, first things first, I'm going to use some highlighter here and say if r is equal to 2 sine of theta plus 1, well, then we're going to be able to directly substitute 2 sine of theta plus 1 in for r. What we need is we need to calculate dr d theta. Well, calculating dr d theta, we see that the derivative of 2 sine of theta with respect to theta is 2 cosine of theta. and the derivative of one with respect to theta is plus zero. So it's just two cosine of theta. And that will go in for this expression. All right, so let's fill in the blanks. dy dx is equal to, sorry, this is uh, getting a bit granulated. I'm gonna see if I can fix that, pausing for a second. <laughs> 